know who they are. No, not necessarily, because there are people who jump right in there. Yeah. You know, the Seminole War period in Florida is huge. I'm, uh, I'm here to help to interpret um, the soldiers through time, exhibit for the National Park Service. Um, I'm actually a living historian with the Tramp Brigade Organization of Historical Interpreters. I'm portraying a soldier of the 3rd U.S. Artillery. They were the garrison here at Fort Moultrie from 1842 to 1845. The National Battle Reenactment was a very small part of a soldier's life. He spent a lot more time in a garrison or in a camp environment, and uh, we do a lot of other events of living histories to encapsulate that and to experience it. And that's what I do it for, is to have a break from the 20th, first century and live for a little while in the 19th. The Army Ground Forces Association is a nonprofit living history group that exists to preserve the memory of the American ground soldier during World War II. And had it not been for the Coast Artillery, our so history would be completely different from what we know it as today. Never once fired a shot in anger. They protected our coastlines. Not one enemy shell ever fell on our harbors. Folks, if you guys want, head on over to the my left hip pen has a scope that's measured horizontal angles. So I have two of them at a certain distance apart. So we have one leg of a triangle, two angles. The time interval bell would be ringing every 15 or 20 seconds. At the end of the third ring, they would take readings and phone it in down to the plotting room. At the end of the last 15 seconds, they would plot where the ship will be in the future 15 seconds. Phone those coordinates down to the gun deck, and when that time interval bell would ring on the third ring, the guns would fire. So theoretically, the shell and the ship would be at that period, and that's how this scope was operated. This scope was actually built in 1944. <laughs> We haven't really given this was a telephone switchboard that we went to. Uh, uh, this was pulled out of, uh, I believe, Fort H.G. Wright up in New England. This is it after it was fully restored to working status and put back into operation. And there's a photograph of it up and running right there. Most of us work 14, 15 hour days. Doug and I work in the same basic Pretty tired. We have about 30 members. Membership is all over the United States. 